homicide in hiding a corpse in the death of 30-year-old Erin Ziemendorf. WISN 12 News' Nick Bohr is live in Kenosha tonight. Nick, her family had a chance to speak there. Right, Diane, some very strong words from the family of 30-year-old Erin Ziemendorf here. She's from West Alice. Her boyfriend is from Kenosha. Uh, he is accused and was convicted of dumping her body in Chicago, then claiming that death was an accident. Chicago police discovered the body in a car's trunk near a Greyhound station there in late October. Eight months later, 41-year-old Matthew McDowell of Kenosha walks into a courtroom, admitting he choked his girlfriend, Aaron Ziemendorf, to death in what he called an accident during an argument. And now because of me, she is gone from this earth. My conscience is riddled by guilt, and I cannot express the magnitude of sheer terror and paralyzing and frozen feeling that I had once I was realizing she was gone. In a plea deal, McDowell was convicted of reckless homicide, but Ziemendorf's family are unconvinced, calling for the maximum possible sentence. He has ruined our lives forever. This senseless act and lies that he has said has taken away our daughter forever. We now have a five-year-old grandson who has so many questions about his mother and when will he see her again or if he can call her on the telephone. I just hope and pray that one day I go outside in the morning, I get the paper, open it up to the last page, and see, me, see where a small blurb to where it says, inmate was beaten to death by his former inmates. McDowell was just now sentenced to 32 years in prison. That was just short of the maximum the judge giving him credit for turning himself in and sparing the family of a trial. Uh, Aaron's parents spoke just a few minutes ago saying they felt the sentence was fair and they're focusing now on helping to raise Aaron's five year old daughter, reporting, or rather, five year old son. Reporting live in Kenosha, Nick Ford, WISN 12 News.